Hey everyone, it's Laura here from makingcardsystem.com and before I'm going to start my craft room tour, I just wanted to wish you all a very happy new year. I hope that 2015 will bring you lots of happiness, friendship and of course love. So I hope that it will be a spectacular year for all of you. So lately I've posted quite a few of pictures of my craft room because I have been redecorating and um, I received just a lot of requests to do another craft room tour since it has been a while since I did one. So I decided to um, post my craft room tour today since it's the new year so it's like my new year's gift to all of you. So let's start with my desk. So this is my desk area. On the right is the door and then here is just my desk. So I have a desk from Ikea and it is from the Mikey collection. As you can see I have the desk, um, the white desk with the uh, wood colored uh, drawers and then next to it I have a coordinating um, storage unit with drawers as well. So on my desk I have two containers, one for my stamp sets and one for my die cut sets. I purchased these two containers at Amazon Germany um, since I live in Belgium and so you know I can't really purchase anything at Amazon USA because the shipping is too high and Amazon Germany um, uh, offers free shipping um, in Belgium so that's why I ordered these two containers over there. I'm going to start with the big container for my stamps. As you can see I have still plenty of room uh, left. I think this container fits about 160 uh, stamp sets so I can you know so I can use this for a very long time because it's not completely filled yet so I just have all of my stamp sets in there and I also have one divider for a large dice um, since these don't fit in the container in the container for my die cuts I made my own dividers using a piece of cardboard then I covered it up with a piece of printer paper and then I just ran it through my laminating machine of course with a special foil um, on it and then I just cut around the edges so to remove all of the excess uh, laminating foil and then I just ran it through the machine again and then I put a little label on there. So I always use the Avriel stamp pockets to store my stamp sets and I label these all using my Dymo label maker. Simon Says Stamp and Ellen Hudson also sell um, sleeves for stamp storage and I really like those as well so I am also linking to those little sleeves. Then over here is the little container that I use for my die cuts. Um, I use the Simon Says Stamp for no 5x5 five five inch uh, storage pockets and I also made these dividers just the same way as I did for my stamp dividers. also posted about this on Instagram a couple of days ago. Then next to my uh, stamp and die cut storage I have my um, work area. So this is where I make my cards. This is a Tim Holtz uh, craft mat and underneath I have this anti-slip um, mat because otherwise my mat would constantly um, move and I really don't like that. So I have two of these little containers that I purchased at a Dutch store called Hema. Um, they also have a UK um, online shop so I will link to that as well. Not sure if these containers are still available um, but I'm sure that you can find something similar at other stores. So in these containers I store like my essentials like scissors, a clear of, uh, a wink of Stella, clear glitter pen and then also my adhesives. Between these two containers I have a drinking glass that I use uh, to fill up with water whenever I am doing some water coloring. So next to these two containers I have a larger container that I use for my most used cardstock and note cards. So I just made these little dividers using wrapping paper and cardboard and then I labeled them all so I just um, 
put this label between the wrapping paper and the cardboard as you can see. So as you can see I have my white note cards but also some colored note cards. Then I have a separate divider for watercolor paper, Nina Solar White and Copic paper. Um, since that is a different type of cardstock, I usually use the Simon Says Stamp Ultra Heavyweight cardstock um, for my Copic coloring. Then next to that container, I have my desk clamp from IKEA. I'm not 100% satisfied with this one because whenever I use it, I have these shadows. And it is okay when I'm not filming because, you know, I don't mind that I have shadows when I'm not filming. But um, the lighting can be quite bad lately, so I really need to find like two good desk clamps um, that don't give me these nasty shadows um, when I'm filming. So then I also have a mint colored pot with uh, succulents in there. Just really like these ones. They are also the, they're almost the same color as the little pot. And then I have this cute clock. This is um, a Christmas gift and it is from a brand called Present Time, I think it is. And they sell like these really fun um, decoration items and I just really like this one. Then above my desk I have this shelf and then over here I have a super cute tissue box from Kleenex. This is from their winter collection I think. I just found it at our grocery store and I really liked it so I purchased it. And then I have a very fun candle holder. This is also mint colored and it has like copper on the inside. It looks very pretty when um, the little candlelight is burning. Then over here I have a box from Ikea. This is a cassette box or something like that. And I just keep my larger 6x8 stamp sets in there because they don't fit the large containers from Amazon. Over here I have a tiny box and I have my baby wipes in there. I always use baby wipes to clean up my stamps. And then I also have my tripod over here, just so as you can see, I mounted it on my shelf with some sticky tape. It's not an ideal solution, um, but it works for me, so I can just easily mount my camera onto this tripod. Then my desk has two drawers, I'm going to show you the one on the right. So this is the one on the right, and I store my Copic markers in there. This is a pouch from Freckled and then I also keep my acrylic blocks in the little zipper pouch and my, also my stamp press. Then in the center I have products that are brand new so that I just recently purchased or just some stuff that I still need to organize. As you can see I just purchased this uh, tiny Singer sewing machine um, because I've seen a lot of sewing on cards and I don't have the room for like an actual sewing machine so I purchased this mini one so I'm really excited to try that out and then on the right I keep my box of watercolors and my paint brushes so on the left I store all my ink pads and I just took a little box of the Simon System card kits I cut off the lid and I covered it up with fun fabric so I have my ink pads all in rainbow order so these are just my Hero Arts and Simon Says Stamp ink pads. I just um, mix these two up. And then over here I have my Studio Calico Color Theory inks. And then these are like the essential inks like Memento Tuxedo Black ink, Archival Jet Black, uh, White ink, First Mark, just stuff like that. And then in this drawer I also keep a little container with my uh, foam adhesive. And then I also have like a, another, another container with tiny towels that I use to dry my stamp sets. Then next to my desk I have this uh, coordinating storage unit with drawers. This is also from the Mikey collection. So on the top, in the top drawer I keep my planner, a little um, bag for my pens and my pencils and markers and all of that stuff. And I also keep my label maker in there. In this drawer I also keep my um, 
ink swatches and I created these, these myself. So these are tiny larger than the little pockets themselves, but it just makes it easy to take them out as you can see. So I have these for all of my inks and I put them in these um, coin pages or coin sheets, not sure how you call these. Um, if you want I can put the file on my blog and then you can download it as well and then you can still like um, change it up a little bit you know for your specific ink names. In a second drawer I keep my stuff that I use for stamp organizing and also a, a roll of foam tape. So I just keep all of my stamp pockets in here, the cardstock that I use for the inserts of the pockets sticky tape and then I also have my stamp that I put on the back of um, the card when I, whenever I mail it and then I also keep um, some um, label maker tape in this little container. Then in the third drawer I keep my distress inks and I label these using some little labels that I downloaded over at Christina Werner's blog. And I also have an empty tube for my distress markers. Then I have two containers, one for used, um, um, what's it called again? Blending tools, so for my blending tool uh, from Tim Holtz. So these are the little uh, sponges that I use. And then I have another container for clean ones. Um, so I just have these in separate containers. Then in the bottom um, drawer, I keep two containers. One has my embossing paste in there, and as you can see, I also label these, just so I can easily see which color it is whenever I open the drawer. I also have my little stylus tools in there, uh, palette knives I mean, so these little palette knives for my embossing paste, and then a little bit of washi tape to um, adhere the stencil. And then over here I have these sleeves with my stencils in. So these are just some regular sleeves and I cut off the sticky part and then I just put in some cardstock and then the little stencil itself. Uh, for these Winnie and Walter stencils I used their own packaging just so I can easily see that it is a stencil from Winnie and Walter. But for like the Simon's the Stamp stencils and all of these, I just put in a piece of white cardstock and I label them using my label maker. Then in the other container I keep my sprays. So I have like these Studio Calico mists and then some from Heidi Swap. And I also keep these little droppers from Studio Calico in there. They're just perfect to create like little um, drops of paint or uh, spray. Above my Expedite uh, storage unit I have this frame and I have three little uh, prints in there and I printed these from and Pinterest. On my Expedite um, storage unit I keep my Big Shot and then this little garden of cacti and uh, one little succulent. I put this together yesterday no, two days ago and I posted about this on my Instagram and on my Facebook account. This is just like a clear pot and then I put in some cacti or cactus soil and then just planted the cacti in there but then I like covered up the soil with some uh, fish rocks. So I made a mix of white fish rocks and hot pink rocks that match the little, um, these two pink cacti. So I have like these inserts for my expedites I have two of these uh, shelving uh, or drawer inserts and then one insert with a door. So I'm going to show you this little um, drawer. So over here I keep all of my embossing powders or just the ones that I used the most frequently. So I have these little boxes that I also purchased at that Dutch store called Hema. Um, I do have links to these containers in my Pinterest board and on my blog um, and they link to the UK online shop. So some of these embossing powders are just stored in these carry cases from Wow Embossing Powder and they just match perfectly in there. Now I do 
store one little plastic spoon in each container. So these are like my silver and gold embossing powders. Then in the second drawer, I keep all of my embellishments. This is probably my favorite um, drawer in my whole craft room because it's just so colorful and happy. I keep four of these sequin organizers. This one is an old one that I purchased when I was like, I don't know, eight years old or something. I was really into like jewelry uh, making and I, you know, I stored the little beads in there and stuff like that. And now I use it for my sequins. But lately I've been purchasing these newer ones. These are from a brand called Anita's. And um, I also link to these in the supply list below. And I just, they're like perfect to store my pre pink posh sequins or other tiny embellishments. Then I have four of these tiny containers that I also have on my desk. I use these for glossy accents and stickles. And I also use these for these die cuts from Dear Lizzie. Also for, for my um, little wood veneer shapes. And then I have one larger one from Ikea. This is from the children um, department. And I keep my enamel dots and the little gems from Hero Arts and other brands in there. Just matches perfectly. Then in the little insert with the door, I keep all of my cards. I have one box full of paper pads and I store these like this and just makes it easy to flip through the different patterns. Then I have two magazine holders that I use for my cardstock. I have one that I use for colored cardstock. So for my colored cardstock, but also for my white cardstock and like fun flow and all of that stuff, I made these um, sleeves. So these are just um, regular uh, sleeves that you can use for, you know, to store paper in. But I just cut a piece off um, of this side and then also on the top. So and then I put a little label with the color of the cardstock. Just makes it easy to, you know, pick out your uh, paper. There are also sleeves that are already open like this so you could probably purchase uh, purchase those ones. Then in, in this magazine holder I keep white cardstock, fun foam, glitter paper and I also use the same sleeves for that. Then in the second uh, insert with drawers uh, I store ink pads that I don't use frequently and then some embossing powders um, that don't fit uh, this drawer over here or I also really don't use these um, quite that much. also have cupcake wrappers inside uh, of this drawer because I use it to um, funnel the embossing powder back into the jar. There we go. And then I also have some flour um, because I use that to remove the cling on like vellum and all of that stuff. You could also use like these Martha Stewart powder tools but I just like to use um, just regular kitchen flour instead. Then in the shelf on the bottom I keep my um, wood block stamps and then a big container full of baker's twine and ribbon. I also keep these little spoons that I use for my embossing powder. In this part of my expedite, I keep Ginny's stuff. You probably know this already about me, but Ginny is my dog and she's white and fluffy. Um, but you probably saw her in the beginning of my video because she was lying um, inside her little cubby, but now she's downstairs. So I keep her little pillow inside here and then also her favorite toy. Then this is another shelving unit that I have in my craft room. This one has mostly decoration on it, but I also keep some storage units on here. So on the top shelf, I have some more succulents. As you can see, I really love succulents. And then I have this cute little candle in a shape of a house, just really like that. And then another of these IKEA boxes, and in here I keep all of my punches, so like a quarter jumper and uh, punches for paper like a butterfly and all of that uh, all of those things and then on the second shelf I have this fun little candle hol holder and then I have this uh, frame with a print that I made myself and it says don't worry be happy 
Um, I have a tutorial on this print, um, so you can check that out as well. And then I have then I have another box, and this one has some products that I don't use frequently. Third shelf, I have my washi tape, so I just keep these in regular mason jars, and then I painted the lid white, and then I just adhered a Smurf on there, and um, this Smurf is colored with nail polish. Then next to it, I have a vase from um, a shop here in Belgium, and then on the inside, I have some straws that I purchased at the same store where I got uh, from where I got the print above my expedit from. And next to it, I have this super fun um, stack hat. Uh, and in the center, I have a frame with a print that I made myself using alphabet stickers and a stamp set from Ellen Hudson. And then I also have this container with three drawers. This one is still empty, but in these two, I keep um, adhesive um, refills and then also my Fiskars plates plates for my um, paper trimmer. Then on the shelf on the bottom I have two empty magazine holders and an empty box from Ikea so I still have some room for other crafty stuff um, in here. Okay so that's it for my updated craft room tour. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to visit my blog or check out the video description below because I have links to the stamp pockets and, I, uh, and like the containers that I use and you can also check out my blog for a link to my craft room Pinterest board where you can find links to my furniture, uh, my decoration and also the prints on my wall. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back on Saturday with a new Saturday Sunday video. Happy New Year!